On Easter Sunday, St. Peter's Square witnessed a sea of 4,000 roses, 11,300 tulips, 14,000 daffodils, and 3,000 hyacinth, welcoming the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus. A shipment of 35,000 flowers and plants comes to Rome from the Netherlands. This tradition has been going on for 30 years. Holland, uh, we had an opportunity to, uh, to decorate a church in, in Rome for, a, uh, let's say, a sacrification of a, a Dutch uh, priest. And uh, that was the moment that we thought, well, that would be very beautiful to, to do it also, uh, to make also the preparation for the St. Peter's Square. So that's how it started. The rich array of color in the flowers represents aspects of purity and spiritual love, innocence, trust, humility, and new life. This year we have a special, uh, let's say, rose variety, a uh, beautiful white rose, also because of the uh, special year of the Misericordia. Uh, we thought it's, it would be nice to bring uh, the, the color white, so that's uh, why you see a lot of white roses on the square. Twenty-five people work together for months to grow these flowers and make them look their best during this Easter Sunday. Transporting them was not easy. The plants came in on Tuesday from the Netherlands, arrived in Rome on Thursday and were then transported to the square on Saturday morning. For us personally, it's always a very magical moment when the truck is driving on the square and you open the truck and every flower plants come out. It's a very special moment. After Holy Week, some plants will remain in St. Peter's Square in the spring, while the rest will be relocated to the Vatican Gardens.